Sometimes, safety instrument function not only have to be functionally safe, but they have to be reliable. Functional safety performance and reliability do not or should not have to be contradictory terms. Safety performance can be achieved with extensive protective diagnostic, while reliability can be achieved with high availability for the whole mission times. Let's see an example. Let's say we have a safety instrument to function for pressure and we have selected a field device, which is a steel 2 certified C-Train pressure transmitter P420. Then in this safety instrument function, the signal from the safety transmitter have to be processed, obviously by a safety controller, a controller with the high safety integrity level, with the high safety performance. But if the safety instrument function need to be reliable, meaning it should tolerate any fault of any controller, you will have to have a redundant arrangement to increase the availability of the system. For example, you could use the Simatic S7400 FH, F4 uh, fail safe, safety controller, H4 high availability, fault tolerant. So now this uh, signal have to be shared between two controllers, the master and the standby. How do we do that? We could use electric terminals like the Dean Rail mounted seal rated Simatec ET200 family. The first thing we will need will be communication modules that can speak a safety rated protocol like ProfitSafe, which by the way, can run on ProfitNet. These will be of course redundant fault tolerant communication modules with a fault tolerance network. Let's start building our remote safety rated rag. The very first thing we will need will be a Marshall termination so that the signal from the transmitter can be shared between two redundant input modules. We are going to use two analog input modules that can be redundant because we are talking about a transmitter with an analog signal. We are going to use Simatic ET200 SP high availability failsafe analog input modules. All right, now we need to power up our uh, remote drag. And for that, we're going to use redundant power supplies, high availability, full tolerance. And if these power supplies are deemed mounted, even better. Let's now connect our power supplies to our remote drag and to the Marshall termination so that our field device can have power too. Furthermore, because the field device have hard capabilities, we are adding up another dimension to the possibilities of diagnostics of the field device. A high available safety signal to a safety controller. Not complicated. 